fire of God fall within Holy Ghost, breathe on us, we pray As we repent, turn from sin Revival embers smoldering Breath of God, fan us into flame We need a fresh wind The fragrance of heaven Pour your spirit out Pour your spirit out That burn with holy fear, purified in faith and deed, refiner's fire, strengthen what remains. So we the church you hear your light, lamp of flame, city bright, king and kingdom come is what we pray. A fresh wind, the fragrance of heaven. Pour your spirit out, pour your spirit out. A holy anointing, the power of your presence. Pour your spirit out, pour your spirit out. Pour your spirit out 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 And sing, we can hear the wind blowing, 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 boo upon our praise. Sons and daughters sing, we can hear the wind blowing, blowing, blowing. Let all the redeemed prophesy. And sing, we can hear the wind blowing, 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 blow upon our praise. Sons and daughters sing, we can hear the wind blowing, blowing. We need a fresh wind, the fragrance of heaven. Pour your spirit out Pour your spirit out Holy anointing The power of your presence Holy Spirit come Pour the spirit out Pour your spirit out
For you are at my side to give me courage Your love shows the way The Lord is my shepherd I shall not walk In green meadows He gives me rest Beside peaceful waters He leads me home He refreshes my soul Love you set me a banquet Side of my foes, you anoint with oil, you give me blessings, my cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want in green meadows, he gives me rest. Beside me he leads me home he refreshes my soul surely goodness and mercy shall follow me for the rest of my days I will dwell in the house of God forever Singing praises to his name. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. In green meadows, he gives me rest. Beside peaceful waters, he leads me home. He refreshes my. Give me courage, your love shows the way. Oh, my God. 
God, my Savior and my friend. Holy God, your love, it has no end. All of creation sings, from the galaxies to the grains of sand. You are my everything. You hold the universe in your hand now and always. I will give you my praise. You are my God, my Savior and my friend. Holy God, your glory has no It all comes down to this What do you require of me? Love my neighbor as myself And you above all things Act justly Love mercy Walk humbly With you God
Good morning! Good morning! And welcome to worship today as we glorify God in so many beautiful ways. I am so honored that you are here. Special welcome to those of you who are online. Thank you so much for being here with us in this greater community that we are a part of. So welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Pastor Scott, and today we get to glorify God's holy name. So let us have a moment of silence as we prepare our hearts through worship, through song, through words. Let's have a moment of silence. If you're so able, will you please rise? And let us sing. Morning has broken like the first morning. Blackbird has spoken like the first bird. Praise for the singing, praise for the morning. Praise for them singing, rest from the world. Sweet the rain to fall, sunlight from Feet past. Mine is a sunlight, mine is a morning, born of the one light, Eden's a play. Praise with elation, praise every morning, God's recreation. I just scrolled and saw that. <laughs> so if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. Let us confess our sin to God who is faithful and just and who has promised to forgive our sin and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Let's have a moment of silence for reflection and self-examination. Most merciful God, we confess to you that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not trusted you with our whole heart. We have not loved one another in deed and in truth. In your compassion, forgive our sin and so uphold us by your spirit that we may live and serve you in newness of life through Jesus Christ our light and truth. Amen. Hear God's good news for us this day. With joy I proclaim to you that Almighty God, rich in mercy, abundant in love, forgives you all of your sin and grants you newness of life in Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. Amen. In peace, in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Have mercy, Christ. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy. For the reign of God and for peace throughout the world, for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy, Christ. Have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For your people here who have come to give you praise, for the strength to live your word, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy, Christ, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Oh, save and defend. 
defend us, O oh God. Amen. Let's sing now the feast. Now the feast and celebration, all of creation sings for joy. To the God of life and love and freedom, praise and glory forever. of the Lamb once slain, whose blood has freed and united us to be one great people of God. Now the feast and celebration, all of creation sings for joy to the God of life and love and freedom, praise and glory forever. and riches, wisdom and might, all honor and glory to Christ forever. Now the feast and celebration, all of creation sings for joy to the God of life and love and freedom, praise and glory forever. For God has come to dwell with us, to make us people of God, to make all things new. Now the feast and celebration, all of creation sings for joy. To the God of life and love and freedom, praise and glory forever. Lord be with you. I invite you to pray with me this day. Heavenly Jesus, we give you thanks for this time to gather in your name. When it comes to prayer, remind us that we need to keep our eyes upon you. When our eyes are distracted, refocus us on how we should walk towards and with you. These things we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Please be seated as we hear God's word for us this day. first reading this morning is from Jeremiah. Although our, iniquity, our, boy, although our iniquities testify against us, act, O Lord, for your name's sake. Our apostasies indeed are many, and we have sinned against you. O hope of Israel, its Savior in time of trouble, why should you be like a stranger in the land, like a traveler turning aside for the night? Why should you be like someone confused, like a mighty warrior who cannot give help? Yet you, O Lord, are in the midst of us, and we are called by your name. Do not forsake us. Thus says the Lord concerning this people. Truly they have loved to wander. They have not restrained their feet. Therefore the Lord does not accept them. Now he will remember their iniquity and punish their sin. Have you completely rejected Judah? Does your heart loathe Zion? Why have you struck us down so there is no healing for us? We look for peace but find no good, for a time of healing, but there is terror instead. We acknowledge our wickedness, O Lord, the iniquity of our ancestors, for we have sinned against you. Do not spurn us for your namesake. Do not dishonor your glorious throne. Remember and do not break your covenant with us. Can any idols of the nations bring rain? Or can the heavens give showers? It is not you, O Lord, our God. We set our hope on you, for it is you who do all this. Word of God, word of life. How dear to me is your dwelling, 
O Lord of hosts, my soul has a desire and a longing for the courts of the Lord. And my heart and my flesh rejoice in the living God. Even a sparrow has found a home and the swallow a nest where she may lay her young. By the side of your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Happy are they who dwell in your house. They will always be praising you. Happy are the people whose strength is in you, whose hearts are set on the pilgrim's way. Those who go through the balsam valley will find in it a place of springs. For the early rains has covered it with pools of water. They will climb from height to height, and the God of gods will be seen in Zion. The second reading is from 2 Timothy. As for me, I am already being poured out as a libation, and the time of my departure has come. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. From now on, there is reserved for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give me on that day, and not only to me, but also to all who have longed for his, his appearing. At my first defense, no one came to my support, but all deserted me. May it not be counted against them. But the Lord stood by me and gave me strength, so that through me the message might be fully proclaimed, and all the Gentiles might hear it. So I was rescued from the lion's mouth. The Lord will rescue me from every evil attack and save me for his heavenly kingdom. To him be the glory forever and ever. Amen. Word of God, word of life. Amen. Thank you to God. Will you please rise for the reading of the gospel? The Holy Gospel according to Luke, the 18th chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. So Jesus also told this parable to some who trusted in themselves that they were righteous and regarded others with contempt. Two men went up to a temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee standing by himself was praying thus, God, I thank you that I am not like other people, thieves, rogues, adulterers, and even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week. I give a tenth of all of my income. But the tax collector standing far off, would not even look up to heaven, but was beating his breast saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his home justified rather than the other. For all who exalt themselves will be humbled, and all who humble themselves will be exalted. This is the gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Please be seated. And could I have the kids come on up, please? Good morning. Let's try that again, I guess. For a minute there, I didn't hear you. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. I have a secret to share with you. I have been holding this back for a long time. We all know who this is, right? Ronan, can I borrow you really quick? Thank you. I'm Batman. No, you're not. <laughs> I have to wear this suit for church, but I'm actually Batman. So much so, they made this model of me. This is about, uh, I don't know, a year ago or so. 
it's a, you know, correct. Okay, so I'm going to show you how amazingly close this is. See, I see they, they t I remember how the, so it's sort of like this. Is that right, Ronan? Close? All right, thank you very much, model holder. But it's very important, very, very, very important that you don't share that with anyone because I have to fight crime. Well, where's the what? No, no. I am pastor right now. They tell you in the comic books that Batman's alter ego is Bruce Wayne. It is actually Pastor Scott. They do that to protect me wow. and to practice, protect all of you. Okay. Kind of but where's your Batman? As I told you, my Batman outfit is at the cleaners right now, yeah. actually, if you want to be. Oh, where's your Batmobile? My Batmobile? Just... It's actually in the, it's in the parking lot right now. Oh, really? Then all the people know your identity. No, it changes. I, there, I have a little button that makes it look like a Toyota. So uh, <laughs> it's inside the car. But how do you get to it? With my key. I have keys. Where is the key? Why? That means you can um, drive. But I can drive. That's right. You don't know. You're, you're missing the point here. I am telling you the truth. I and Batman. Actually. Okay. Actually what? Why do you need to um, Batman helping you outside? Let me give you, for example, all right, in the movie, they actually used my voice. This is the Michael Keaton version, okay? The bad guy goes, who are you? And they dubbed my voice over it and it says, I'm Batman. Isn't that believable? <laughs> You're letting me down, Clara. I thought of all of these people that you would believe me. Actually, you do. Here, here, let me ask, let me ask the boy wonder if I'm Batman. Am I Batman? For, right, exactly. See, he is wearing a Batman sweatshirt to support his dad. <laughs> you think I'm lying. Stand up and show everyone. See? We actually, we actually didn't plan this at all. Well, the reason I tell you that I'm Batman is I'm actually kidding. I knew. You knew? How did I you know? Yes. I'm lying. Yes. Yeah, you caught me. I was lying. They tell when you're lying. Because Be Batman doesn't do church. Yes. Batman doesn't do church. He only does crimes. Yes. No, actually, Batman is a very solid member. He, he can't make it to church, so he watches Christ the King online at ChristTheKingOV.com. Or you can go to the Facebook page or YouTube. He doesn't watch at 930 because he's up all night fighting crime. I have no idea. You gotta talk to Batman. So I'm fibbing with you, but it actually made me think. I may not be a superhero like Batman, but I actually am a superhero in God's eyes. Did you know this? Mm -hmm. And then all of you are too. Yes. God is a superhero. You're right. God, God is a superhero. Is but God loves you so very much. Yes, go ahead. That's right. So what I was thinking is that all of us, since we are superheroes, in God's eye, because we are special, so I want you to think about, hmm, in what way am I special? Because I actually know how you're special. So I have, I have capes here for all, every single one of you. Okay. Um, what color, blue or red? Blue or red? Blue. blue. All right, so it, what's really easy is it, it's just Velcros. Can I put this on you? 
Sweet. Thanks, Clara. So we, from now on, you are known as Super Blonde Girl. Super Blonde Girl. Okay. Who are red? Me, Red. Red, okay. Can I say who I am? Yeah, go ahead. From now on, you shall be known as Super Noel. I'm just twisting my hat. Well, it comes apart. There's, this has Velcro. It okay. looks like an ace from my work. It's not. <laughs> okay. Person who loves horses will call you the amazing horse rider. Blue or red? Blue or red? Okay. All right. And what color for you? Red. Red. And since you and I have a thing about bananas, we're going to call you Banana Girl. No. Oh, okay. I was going to say, let's call her Banana I Queen. Banana no. Queen. Okay. I no, Minecraft. Girl. I don't want to be Banana Queen. Banana Girl. I want to be called Super Noel. Super Noel. Super Noel. Super Noel. Super Noel. Super Noel. Super Gamer. Super Gamer. You got yeah, it. Me too. I want to be called Horse Queen. Horse Queen <laughs> it is. Gamer. Gamer, gamer queen. queen, got it. I mean gamer. But let these let these uh, amazing capes remind you of how special you are to God. At the superhero store, that's where, where I got them. Is that where Batman gets all his gadgets? No, he gets it at the Batman store. Everyone knows this. Batman store. Yeah, what is it? It's it's right next yeah. to. Uh, famous Foot Locker um, over at, you know, at the outlets here. Oh, well, then why can't we see it on Google Earth? It is. You just got to look a little harder. Okay, let us pray. <laughs> you guys are so fun. All right, will you please pray with me and um, repeat after me. Loving God, thank you for today. Thank you for making us superheroes. Because you love us so much. These things we pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thanks for coming up, superheroes. You can keep the capes. I got them just for you. I know you want one. Would you like red or blue? All right. Pastor, did you want one too? I half expected you, Owen, to do some kind of Batman theme or... (laughs) Grace and peace to you from God our Creator and our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Amen. On Friday... Yes, of this week, I needed some work done on my car. As I passed my key over to the employee at the mechanics, he said, do you have a ride where someone's going to pick you up? Or will you be waiting for the repair? No, I proclaimed. I have an appointment off of, you know, a ways away, and so I figured I would walk. He then said the magic words... We have a shuttle. Great. I didn't want to walk that far. (laughs) Well, we'd be happy to give you a lift, sir. So the employee turns to his right and says, Jerry, go get the shuttle van. We got a live one here. (laughs) Jerry shoots up and runs off uh, out some door. And five uh, five minutes later, Jerry rolls up with the shuttle. He waved me over and I, he said I could sit anywhere in the back and, or up in the front, so I chose the front passenger seat. I introduced myself and sat in the shuttle van and he introduced himself as well. And so after a couple of pleasantries, he noticed the knee brace that I was wearing. As some of you may know, I occasionally wear a knee brace due to some knee issues I have. And he said, What did you do to your knee? Well, I I wear my brace for precautionary reasons. Too many surgeries and a bunch of times my knee loses stability and it pops out. Man, 
that stinks. Yeah, my knee popped out at church last Sunday as I stepped down uh, in one part, and he, and he paused and said, what kind of church do you go to? It kind of sounds rough. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I just stepped down from a step, and it just kind of popped out, and, and thank the Lord it was during a song as I was, it didn't really go with the beat, so... So, what are you, like the pastor of this church? Yeah. So if you're looking for a church, why don't you give us a try? Nah, Jerry said. I've never been in a church. I don't think a guy like me would be welcomed. The roof would probably crumble down on me. Oh? Well, here's the good news, as I was telling Jerry. We actually have a fairly new roof. <laughs> so it won't crumble. And people like you are always welcome. Nah, I'm not worthy to go to church. If not the roof, something will happen. Maybe like a lightning bolt, you know. I'm just not worthy for God. You know what I mean? I mean, seriously, do you know what I mean? And I said, no, not really. Now, over the years, I've had my fair share of conversations with individuals with that same theme. I am not worthy to enter. Even when weddings are happening or memorial services and other things that are held in this space, they have been, there are too many people who will just wait outside of the church doors all because they don't feel like they are worthy. They don't feel like they are accepted or good enough to enter inside of a building. Actually, can you follow me with the camera here, Heather? Let me just show you how much of a building this is. This is a door. It looks like other doors. There's nothing special about this wall. It's a building, is it not? We have windows and lights just like your home. But you may even know some people who think that this space and where we which that we worship, or maybe even someone who is online or maybe someone who is here today that are contemplating what is their worth? Well, let me begin by saying this. God does not have lightning bolts with your name on it. God does not come crashing down upon a roof into your specific area, upon your specific head. Here's the one fact I do know. None of us are worthy to be in the presence of God. So if you don't feel like you're worthy, you're in good company. However, by Christ's sacrifice on the cross and the resurrection that followed, you have been deemed worthy to have life. You have been deemed worthy to be loved in spite of your sin, in spite of your brokenness, in spite of your opinions and how worthless you may think of yourself. You are not worthless in Christ's eyes. Let me say that again. You are not worthless in Christ's eyes. In our gospel today, we hear of two men who are going to the temple of, to pray. One man doesn't quite understand how prayer works. Prayer for the, Pharisees was, for the Pharisee was all about him and his opinion of worth. Look at me. I have done all of these things and I am so glad I'm not like that other guy over there. And then we have the second one who prays. Praise his worth and discovers that his worth is found with Jesus Christ, our Lord. And he knows that he isn't perfect. But mercy was only found in one place. 
and that being with the one who created him, who nurtured him, and who loves him desperately. He was made right by humbling himself to Christ, who makes him, but all of us, worthy. Part two of my story. So Jer with Jerry in the shuttle, the, sh the excuse me, the shuttle driver, and he said, "I'm not worthy to go to church. I'm not worthy for God. You know what I mean." And I said, "No, not really." And he said, "Well, you know, a man who sins like me, you know, God really hates people like me. Um, not the God that I follow. God loves me." And God loves you here in this van, in your house, in the church, everywhere. God says that you are worthy with no special lightning bolts that will strike you down because of what you did. God just wants you to ask for forgiveness and be made whole, Jerry, just so you can experience love. And he paused and he said, I've never heard that from a preacher. What are you, preaching some weird voodoo stuff? <laughs> no. Maybe you should go inside sometime into a church and actually hear the message that they are preaching. Well, maybe I will. What time is your worship service, Pastor Scott? 9.30 in the morning, and I handed him a business card. And we arrived at my place, and he said, Thank you, worthy one. I feel worthy now. And so, Jerry, he's online this morning. I want to say good morning to you. You are worthy. Just like the rest of you. Because of Jesus Christ. have a moment of silence for reflection. Will you please uh, rise if you are so able? And let us sing. A Pharisee was pray, uh, praying to the tune of the church's one foundation. Oh. 
Confess our faith in the words of the Nicene Creed. And so we confess. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became truly human. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshiped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, we acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Please be seated just for a moment. We're going to stray from our regularly scheduled program. <clears throat> Linda, may I have your presence up here with me? All right, so we need to state your name, where you're from, something interesting about you, and favorite pizza topping. See, they've all done this. I see. My name is Linda Broadus. Um, I live in Orangevale, but I'm initially from um, a little town, rural town called Hillsdale, Michigan. My family tells me that I, and I grew up on a farm. So since I've lived in California for 20 years, my kids tell me, you are truly city and one of those crazy Californians. <laughs> 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 so anyway, whatever that means. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, something interesting about myself. I am a registered nurse. I love dogs. Um, to the point that I'm really tender-hearted with really about any animal. Um, and my favorite topping is very <laughs> generic, bland, cheese, maybe sometimes pepperoni. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Let us pray. Heavenly Jesus, wondrous one, we ask your blessings upon Linda as she starts this journey here at Christ the King, as she hears the scriptures, partakes in the sacraments, may she be filled with your grace and love. And as she gets to know people within this community, let her know that she is loved by not only you, but by so many who are here. Mm -hmm. These things we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. How about a round of applause for our new mission partner, a member of our church. I'm so happy that God led me to this uh, community and this church and Pastor Scott. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> All right.
right. Thank you very much. I invite you to pray with me this day. And I say, Lord, in your mercy, please respond by saying, hear our prayer. Let us pray. In gratitude and humility, let us come to join together in prayer on behalf of all of God's creation. O God of mercy, you are in the midst of us, and we are called by your name. Inspire your church to serve and love all people with the unceasing grace you extend to us. Lord, in your mercy, O God of all creation, you formed a world when even the sparrow finds a home. Preserve the beauty and diversity of all creatures with whom we share this earth. Let us protect all living things. Lord, in your mercy, O God of peace, you are an ever-present help in time of trouble. Rescue families and nations torn apart by violence and warfare. Please be with those who are struggling in Ukraine. Unite all people toward common goals of reconciliation and peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O God of hope, you stand with the suffering and give strength. Comfort your people filled with fear or anger, anxiety or shame. Bring healing to all who are sick in body, mind, or spirit, especially those who you name before you now. Oh God, there are many names that either we have spoken aloud or heavy upon our hearts. We lift those names to you as well as our ongoing prayer list, which are more than just names on a piece of paper. In particular, this day we ask your blessings upon Ron Chase and Kirk Alexander, Dan Driesman, Patricia Beef, be with Mike Gretz, Mary Severins, Clay Smith, Lay your hands upon Rich and Dinah Evans, especially at Dinah. Be with Cameron Gross, Daryl Mann. Continue to be with Colleen Flannery as she continues to struggle with the after effects of COVID. Be also with Samantha Flannery as she is expecting new life. Continue to be with Terry Himes as she recovers in the hospital and her spirits are high, and we give you thanks for all people who are caring for her. Be with Conrad Engler. Be with Alfred Maya. Please be with those who have been impacted by the forest fires, wildfires, excuse me, that have happened. Be with those who have been impacted by too many national tragedies, Lord. Continue to be with those who are suffering from COVID-19. Lord, in your mercy, O oh God of restoration, you call us to trust in you and not ourselves alone. Make this church a community of humility and repentance, ready to encounter you in love and follow in your ways. Lord, in your mercy, O oh God of peace, God of celebration, we give you thanks for this opportunity to worship your holy name, but more importantly, this church to worship your holy name in, in worship, in ministries, activities. May you be a constant reminder. May we always be focused upon you in all the things that we say and do. We thank you for your blessings, Lord, in your mercy. O oh God of eternal life, to you be glory forever. We give you thanks. For all who have fought the good fight, finished the race, and kept the faith, and now live with you, Lord, in your mercy. Amen. With grateful hearts, we commend our spoken and silent prayers to you, O God, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. 
Amen. The peace of Christ be with you always. Let us share that peace with one another. If you'd like to stand, you may do so. And those of you who are online, share that peace with your loved ones in your home as well as your neighbors. Peace, 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 No. <laughs> Please be seated as we give of our gifts through our tithes and our offerings. And those of you who are online, if you'd like to give, Please see our website at ChristTheKingOV.com. There are many ways that you can do so. So let us give. As the grains of wheat, once scattered on the hill, were gathered into one to become our bread, so may all your people from all the ends of earth be gathered into one in you. That this cup of blessing is shared within our midst, May we share the presence of your love. As the grains of wheat, when scattered on the hill, were gathered into one to become our bread, so may all your people from all the ends of earth be gathered into one in let this be a foretaste of all that is to come when all creation shares its feast with you. As the grains of wheat, when scattered on the hill, were gathered into one to become our bread, so may all your people from all the ends of earth be gathered into one in you. Let us pray together. Merciful God, you open wide your hand and satisfy the need of every living thing. You have set this feast before us. Open our hands to receive it. Open our hearts to embrace it. Open our lives to live it. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. We lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks to the Lord. It is indeed our duty and a delight that we should at all times and all places offer thanks and praise to you, O holy God, through Christ our Lord. And the Holy Spirit who poured out upon us this church and to your people. And so with the church on earth and the hosts of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Holy, holy, holy are you, God of power and might. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the one who comes in your name. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come, come again. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come, Come again. You're indeed holy, gracious, and merciful God, creator of heaven and the earth. 
Everything everywhere is filled with your glory. We give you thanks for the promise you gave to our ancestors, Abraham and Sarah, and that through their descendants, your, you, would be, you would bless the whole family on earth. We give you thanks for the steadfast love you showed to their offspring. You delivered them from Egypt, bound yourself to them in the covenant, sent them liberators and prophets, brought them home from exile. When the time had fully come, you sent your promise, born of Mary, who in word and deed announced your gentle rule of justice and peace. He was obedient until death, even death on a cross. We remember how on the night of his betrayal, our Lord Jesus took bread. And he blessed it and broke it and gave it to his disciples, indeed, saying, Take and eat. This is my body, broken and given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. He also took the cup and gave it to all the drinks, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. Remembering his command that we love one another, his life and death and his glorious resurrection and ascension, we pray for his coming even as we cry. Amen, come Lord Jesus, amen, come Lord Jesus, amen, come Lord Jesus, amen, come Lord Jesus. And now we pray your Holy Spirit that all of your promises may come to us and your whole creation. Empower us by that same spirit to love and forgive, and that our lives may anticipate that day when you will make all things new. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit. Gather our prayers with those of the apostles, prophets, martyrs, and all the faithful who have gone before us and unite them with the unceasing prayer of the one who lives in us and in whom we live, Jesus Christ. Through Christ, with Christ, in Christ, in the unity of the Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, O God, now and forever. gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy name is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Followers of Jesus, come to the table. Receive nourishment for your journey. Come. All is prepared. As far as our choreography is concerned, first of all, those of you who are at home, know that you are, or wherever you're watching online, if you'd like to partake with bread and wine, or grape juice, know that it is considered blessed because you are a part of our community here. And those of us who are here, um, those of us on the right, you'll notice I'll be here in the middle and you'll make your way over to Mrs. Olson where she'll give you wine and or grape juice. The grape juice is the lighter liquid. And those on the left, follow those who are on the right. Go all the way around. If you go to the left, Heather bites, so I just wanted to let you know that. Um. <laughs> Come. Not hard. <laughs> Come, all is prepared. If you have any doubts, any hesitation to receive, know that you have been made worthy by Christ Jesus. Come. Come be whole. Come, all is prepared. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Mercy
mercy on us, mercy on us. Lamb of God, you break the chains of hatred and fear. Have mercy on us, mercy on us, mercy on us. Lamb of God, and peace. Have mercy on us, mercy on us, mercy on us. Lamb of God, you are the way of mercy and love. Have mercy on us, mercy on us, mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace, grant us peace, grant us peace. Change my heart, O oh God, make it ever true. Change my heart, O oh God, may I be like you. You are the power. Stone away, 
When my heart is cold, warm it with the day. When my heart is lost, lead me on your way. Lord, let my heart, Lord, let my heart, Lord, let my heart be good soil. Let my heart be good soil, open to the seed of your word. Lord, let my heart be good soil, where love can grow, peace is understood. When my heart is hard, break the stone away. Heart is cold, warm it with the day. When my heart is lost, lead me on your way. Lord, let my heart, Lord, let my heart, Lord, let my heart be good so. Let us pray together. Jesus Christ, host of this meal, you have given us not only this bread and cup, but your very self, that we may feast on your great love. Fill us in the, by the signs of your grace. May we hunger for your reign. May we thirst for your way of peace, for you who are Lord forevermore. Receive God's blessings this day. May God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine, 
Grant you the gifts of faith and hope, Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Bless you now and forever. Amen. Amen. Announcements. What is happening here at this church? Well, many, 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 many things. For example, this Tuesday is our Panda Express fundraiser, and so on your way out, um, Mr. Enders is going to hand you a flyer if you'd like to participate. I mentioned, here's the plan. They open up at about 10 o'clock, have brunch, then take your heart medication, go to a late lunch at about two. This all goes for a worthy cause. It helps out our church as well as our scouts. And then uh, after two o'clock, uh, go see your, your cardiologist. And then after that, you go and then have dinner at about eight or nine o'clock in the evening. And, um, I'm kidding, but just if you'd like to have some fun, uh, please come on Tuesday. You need the flyer or the electronic picture that I will send via email, or if those of you who are not online and would like one, look on Facebook. I'll have it there, um, and, pr and probably on our website as well, so please look for that. Um, also, coming up on that same Tuesday at 6 o'clock, uh, if you are a young person, between well, the seventh grade to, um, I was about to say midnight, 12th grade, we're going to do youth group at six o'clock at Panda Express. So um, please uh, hang out with me and Heather and we'd love to hang out with you. This next Sunday, some of you, it looks like you uh, were doing some pre-celebratory uh, Reformation decorating, which is great, but it's not until next week. So the most passionate red that I see is with Charlotte. Charlotte, could you please stand up and see, look how amazing she looked in her red. <laughs> yes? Great. Please see, see Charlotte afterwards for, for your... your your hat fitting. But wear red next week. Uh, why? Because next week is Reformation Sunday, and a lot of folks have asked, what is Reformation Sunday? Well, it is that one day where uh, the church uh, gets together and says, you know, on it's actually October 31st, a long, long, long time ago, this guy named Martin Luther, not Martin Luther King, Martin Luther, nailed 95 theses upon a Wittenberg... Uh, German door and started a firestorm not intentionally but the Holy Spirit caught on fire and so we just celebrate one day of how the church as a whole changed and we do that by wearing the color of red so if you'd like to um, please do so and if you have any questions about Reformation I'd be happy to give you a dissertation about the ins and outs of Reformation I have a whole PowerPoint slide um, probably takes a good three hours. So if you're into it, uh, by all means, come see me. Also coming up uh, in November, I can't wait for us to be a part of a couple things. We're going to do a coat drive during the month of November. Also, uh, during the month of November, I'm doing a thing called Be the Invitation. Uh, it's called Be the Invitation. What exactly is Be the Invitation? I'm going to teach you what it means to be the invitation for others to come to our church, not only online, but also in person. So all throughout November, you're going to get a little packet and so forth. Uh, starting on November 6th, which is All Saints Sunday, we're going to intentionally pray. We're going to have classes and uh, opportunities to... Um, to take that joke of this is, I'm sure you've heard this one. What do you get when you knock, when you uh, combine a Jehovah Witness with a Lutheran? Someone knocks on doors but doesn't say anything. <laughs> Never again. I would like to teach you how to share your faith in the way that I know all of you can. And so the whole month of November is going to be doing that because what a beautiful time to do so because. We'll have, you know, come December, we'll have a Christmas tree and you know, concerts and so forth. So what a wonderful opportunity to 
learn more how to become evangelists. Not like me, but like you. So that's coming in November. One last uh, announcement before we sing our last song. Um, yes, next Sunday, Reformation Sunday, is also the return of the impromptu choir. So if you would like to come, you just bring yourself. And we'll meet at 8.30 right in here. We'll learn a, a song, a pretty well-known hymn. We'll put it together and then sing it during the service. So come, do it. It's a lot of fun. So mm -hmm. all levels of experience yeah. are invited. So please, please come. Yes, you can sing too. Come on. Everyone can come. What if we can make it just a whole church-wide thing? And then one last thing. Oh, cool. I see someone put it in the offering plate. Thank you. So if, uh, November 13th is Hymn Sing Along Sunday. If you'd like to choose the hymns for that Sunday, we can't pick them all. But if you'd like to have a running into it, and great. Uh, looks like Mary Ellen and Sandy wrote their name in here clearly. So if you like it or you don't like it, you can contact them saying, look, I don't like the hymn of the day that you chose. But uh, please, um, we have forms in the back if you'd like to, or you could send me an email. So without further ado, let us sing our closing hymn, Better is One Day. We please rise if you are so able.
tasted and last seen, come once again to me. I will draw near to you. I will draw near to you. Better is one day, better is one day, better is one day than thousands elsewhere. Better is one day, better is one day, better is one day than thousands elsewhere. Better is one day in your court, better is one day in your house. Now with great gusto for our Lord and Savior. Go in peace, serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen, amen. Amen. Folks, Pastor Scott Kimmer here with Christ the King Lutheran Church. Thanks so much for worshiping with us. If you like what you see, subscribe or like us with YouTube or Facebook. If you'd like further information in regards to our church, go to ChristTheKingOV.com. Additionally, if there's anything that we as a church can do for you through prayer, through conversation, please don't hesitate to contact us as soon as you are able. But may God's blessings be with you this day.